It is a chilly February morning. It's somewhere mid-February, maybe a little bit past. Still in prime winter time, but today is supposed to warm up to at least 50 degrees. So I've got the J20 fired up today. Take it up to the cabin right here, break out a power washer, and I'm gonna start cleaning it up. Sometimes on a restoration project, the first thing you need to do is just kind of just clean it up, power wash it, clean out the inside of all the stuff that is gathered. Kind of makes you feel a little bit better and it puts the restoration project on the right path to getting done. Now this is going to be a long project. There's going to be a lot of videos, but this is where you got to start right here. So hey, I appreciate you coming along. Appreciate you giving me a hand today. Let's get this baby cleaned up a little bit and see what it looks like. Coming right up. I'm not so sure how my two helpers are going to do today. They seem to be wanting to play around rather than to go to work. Oh well, that's the way it is. Hard to find good help these days. go four wheeling and drink a few blue moons I know what a lot of you are thinking mr. Lawrence don't ever let leaves and stuff sit in a truck like that because it'll rust it out I agree holds moisture like crazy ice forms it's just a mess I don't know we all make some stupid mistakes for sure hopefully I'm gonna correct this one as time goes on we'll see where it goes I'd like to put a set of those Goodyear Wrangler HTs on there. I'm not sure if they make that style anymore. You know, they're not aggressive tires. They're not really mud tires, but they rode down the street pretty good. They were pretty quiet. Let's see if I can't find me a set of those eventually.
Yeah, I think that little stepping stool makes it a little bit easier getting into the J20. Here in a little bit, I'm going to point out a few things why the J20 is a much tougher vehicle than even the J10 and then compared to a lot of the other trucks on the road especially back then it was just built really really tough this is 2023 and the jeep pickup trucks just came out i believe in 2022 might have been 21 and i see the jeep pickup trucks everywhere on the road and they really really look good right here sits their grandfather this is the j20 1982 original owner okay, power washing is moving right along looking pretty good getting a lot of the old uh, it looks like mold and moss and stuff like that is coming off pretty good now I've had a lot of people through the years ask me Mr. Lawrence, why is your truck painted red, black, and even a gray color? The best way I can answer that is a friend of mine, Barry, I used to work with. We call him the Big Bear. He always would make this comment, poor man has poor ways. That describes my truck. Whenever I'd see a rust spot coming up on it, some surface rust, we'd take it and sand it. Me and my son, Alex, would sand it down. We'd primer it and we'd put a little paint on it. You know, I always knew someday I'd have it redone and repainted. So at least I tried to stop some, some of the places from rusting through really bad. I still have some bad places on it, which I've got to fix up. And so now you know that's what the black spots are. Those were all places that have been sanded and some paint put on it, some rust-oleum put on it, and to keep it from rusting through. Just a little preventative I've done through the years. Hey, I appreciate you coming to the channel. It's LAF Space Film Fest, capital LAF Space Film Fest. Hey, if you would, hammer down that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Helps me to restore this vehicle. Helps me to put video out there to entertain you and the entire world if they're interested in full-size Jeeps. There it is, the J20. Hey, and if you would, leave me a comment. What do you think this truck is worth right here? As is, and then once it's restored. It's pretty rare, 1982 J20 Jeep pickup truck, 360 automatic. Actually has a rebuilt transmission in it that's super, super strong. Please leave it in the comment. I'm interested to see what you think. Show you a couple things what makes the J20 very unusual. First of all, check out check the lugs on here. Not very often you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lugs. Also, check out the size of that axle coming out of there. Now it's my understanding, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but it's my understanding heavy duty rear differential in it. You can see under here, there it is, and it's pretty beefy. So it's things like that that really make the Jeep J20 pretty heavy duty. I did notice I had a tire going low up front, so I'm going to put some air in it. Hopefully it doesn't continue to leak down. Hopefully it was just low to begin with. It sat for years and years, and I just think that maybe I'm hoping that it just slowly seeped out and it doesn't have a brand new hole in it. Now I think laying right here, is the original tires and rims that came off the truck when I bought it in 1982 it wasn't long before I took these off and I put some bigger rims on some bigger tires on it and at one time I think I had 31 buckshots if that sounds right I mean I had some beefy tires beefy rims fixed up and that's what I do all my mudding in but I think this tire laying right here that's the actual rim and tire, and I have all of them. Why you save things like that for 40 years? Just because I knew someday I'd fix her back. Yeah, pretty sure that's the original tires. You can see they were pretty skinny. 
but the truck rode pretty good with them. It was, it was actually pretty quiet until I put those big buck shots on there. I see it's lunchtime, so I'm going to go ahead and get some lunch. I appreciate you coming by. I don't think these guys helped at all today. Hey, who helped today? Anybody? You? Well, there they go. Kind of had a feeling it was going to be play day today. I'll be putting out another video. I'll probably close this one out. This will be the power wash video. Now I've got to open her up and clean her out. Ooh, boy, she's a mess in there, but I don't think I'll break out the power washer. Although I could, there's no carpet, anything like that in there, but I think I'm going to wait. But eventually, I think I'll take that front seat out of there and really clean it up. Probably the floor needs a little bit of a repair done on it, and I'll get that all fixed up. How to keep two dogs busy? Get them an old stick. <laughs> They'll do that for hours and hours. Okay. You have a good day. Found a cool little Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels Corvette. That's pretty cool, sitting up on the dash.